The following is a virtual demonstration of the Rosmec MC110 subcompact sweeper. Shown here is a brief overview of the vehicle's interior, whilst demonstrating its numerous settings, functions and capabilities. At the wheel, you're in complete control of your environment, and with the high up positioning, you're given unparalleled visibility through an extra low windscreen. The cab is fitted with glass panel doors and thin door beams, panoramic rear view mirrors, rear view quarter panels, and both a nozzle and reversing camera. The vehicle is equipped with an air suspension fully adjustable seat manufactured by Grammar. The cab setup includes a specialised reversing pedal for operational purposes, plus standard brakes and accelerator, as well as a fully functioning Philips radio and a top quality air conditioner. It's home to a 7 inch colour fully integrated canvas screen and system mounted in the overhead console for monitoring and operation of the machine, as well as a 7 inch colour monitor with camera views of the rear and suction nozzle. Filling up the vehicle's water tank before use is imperative. Water is a key component in the sweeping's cleansing process as it's primarily used to suppress dust. There are two main options to consider when filling up, either to use an ordinary garden hose or to use a commercial connection. One sweeping function that water plays a large role in is the screen wash. There are two screens in the vehicle, the suction screen and the recycling water screen. The suction screen wash is usually used prior to sweeping. Its main role is to clean the suction screen. This is an important pre-sweep process that should not be overlooked as clean screens deliver more effective suction. This is due to the suction screen's chief function, which is that it prevents potentially harmful material from being sucked up, going through the fan and being emitted back into the atmosphere. When the screen is wet, it significantly decreases the chances of material and debris being sucked up into the fan as it dampens them which in turn makes them heavier and sends them down toward the bottom of the hopper. Each machine comes with a water recycling facility option and to enable this to work effectively, the operator should clean the screen before use, thus delivering optimal water recycling and machine performance. This section of the video shows how the hopper can be raised manually as opposed to automatically with the hopper pendant. This would ideally hardly ever be necessary, but should the machine have a hydraulic failure, the hopper is able to be raised using the manual hopper raise. Here the hopper hydraulic raise is demonstrated by the operator. It simply involves picking up the hopper pendant and pressing the raise button. As you can see, it's smooth and fluent in its incline and is primarily used to eliminate the contents of the hopper into the necessary dumping areas. For example here, it's filled with water which is empty into the wash bay to simply display its dumping capabilities. Once all dumping is completed and you would like to lower the hopper, it's essentially the same process. Obtain the hopper pendant once more, but now instead of pressing the raise button, press the lower button and hold it until the hopper is fully dropped and will not decline any further. What's also demonstrated in this particular clip is the excellent maneuverability and tight turning this articulated model is capable of. Not to mention the broom's flexibility, which allows you to either raise and stow or lower and sweep. The MC110's hand lance attachment is extremely useful for washing away any dropped debris or cleaning any mess either on, in or surrounding the sweeper. And it's all set up by just the touch of a finger. Simply press the blue high pressure water button in the cab, retrieve and attach the hand lance and fire away. Demonstrated here are the vehicle's sweeping capabilities on variable surfaces. First, on more dry and dusty terrain, before handling a wetter, muddier environment, both dealt with as easily and efficiently as the other. The unit is mounted on a 2.4 ton gross vehicle mass chassis with a payload of 500 kilograms and boasts articulated steering, which as mentioned before, allows its nimble and compact movements. Its two brush push sweeping system with wide side and front swing gives it even greater agility for cleaning 90 degree corners in and around urban amenities. Technical innovation and advanced design makes the MC110 an extremely versatile compact sweeper capable of undertaking the most arduous sweeping tasks. The MC110 is designed for today with tomorrow in mind. It has three defined working speeds that handle the different sweeping tasks which the operator encounters daily an eco mode, a standard mode, and a boost mode limited to 10 minutes of use. 80% of common sweeping tasks are handled with eco mode. Preferring to use this working mode gives you up to 50% fuel savings, less noise pollution, and preserves the lifetime of your sweeper. The MC110 can negotiate narrow streets with great agility, as well as footpaths as shown here. Articulated and with a tiny 1.8 metre approximate turning radius, it can virtually turn on the spot. And with a height of less than 2 metres, it's the ideal sweeper for underground car parks too. So if you're in the market for the perfect subcompact sweeper that you can rely on for quality, trust the only Australian-owned road sweeping manufacturers, and contact Rosmec via email at reception at rosmec.com.au or via telephone at 8182 7777 or just visit our website at www.rosmec.com.au.